Hello guys, it's Kieran or Killer Kids of HD here. Welcome back to Killer Kids of Stag Do. Well, today we are Mansfield Town and we are facing Sheffield Wednesday, who are second in the league. In the previous meetings between the two clubs, we have lost both times. I'm really looking forward to this game. Um, since the last episode, where we, I think we lost to Bradford City, uh, stuff has. It's been okay. It's been okay. We'll just go talk about it. Let's get right into the episode. Let's go and chat about the previous fixtures. So, as I said, in the previous episode, we lost 2-0 at home to Bradford City. Goal from Fowler and Jed Wallace. And we lost the game after that as well, 2-0, away from home against Ipswich Town. Freddie Sitz and Kaelin Hines with the goal in that game. Regan Paul and Donovan Daniels were the defensive partnership there. Because uh, low, low fitness, basically, low fitness. And since that game, we are unbeaten in four. We won 2 1 at home against Burnley. Thierry Ambrose with a brace in 17 minutes. Pashy Bamford with a goal in 25th minutes to make it 2 1. That's how the game ended. Thierry Ambrose with a 9.0 in this game. Reese Gregor Cox with an 8.3. We then won 2 1 away from home at Loftus Road against QPR. Another 2 1 win for us. We actually had two, three 2 1 wins in a row. And there, Capra Dossi with a goal in the fourth minute to give us the lead. Wes Fodderingham then put the ball into his own net at Loftus Road to make it 2 0 just before half time. Manuel Lanzini did score in the 64th minute to make it 2 1, making it a bit tense at the Q, uh, QPR Stadium. Uh, but we managed to hold on for another 2 1 win. And then we won again 2 1. This time at home against Swansea City, goals from Thierry Ambrose and Matty Folds for us, and Amar Gamal for Swansea City. A good game all round, but a lot of injuries once again. The injuries are starting to plague us a bit, and it's very frustrating. And then we drew 1 1 away from home at the City Ground against Forrest, uh, Zachariah Labaid, I think that is, of the goal in the second minute for Forrest, and the 69th minute, Luke Maxwell did equalise for us and gave us that goal. Thierry Ambrose also missing a penalty in this game. And that leaves the league table looking like this. Brentford are currently top of the league, unbeaten, eight wins, three draws. Sheffield Wednesday in second, and the top four playoff sides, Ipswich Town, Watford, Swansea City, and Middlesbrough. We are in seventh, only on goal difference. We have a minus four goal difference after four losses. Very big loss, especially the Peterborough game. And in the bottom of the league, Fulham, Hull City, and Plymouth, and then our former episode, a uh, former team in the former episode, Bradford City, and now in 12th after that, I'm guessing they just kind of boosted up the draws a little bit and they're doing quite well. Patrick Bamford is top of the lead, uh, top of the league in uh, goals with um, Holland in behind and Diego Rubio. And in assists, Josh Sims killing it for Bristol City. Eight assists in 11 games. Fair play to the lad. So I've been trying another tactic. Yeah, I know. I know. Another tactic. I know. I, I mean, look, I'm not going to. I'll show you it. 4 1 4 1 with DM. It's getting the wins, basically. It's getting the wins. What else should I to say? It's doing well, and that's it. It's a structured formation. It's not many instructions. Short passes would be more disciplined. Stick positions, higher tempo, more defensive, I think. I mean, it's working. We're winning a couple of games here. I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and change it, you know? I think we... I mean, it's won us three games, 2-1 wins, and obviously draw into Forest as well. I mean, I'm going to try again today. It's at home. Sheffield Wednesday are second. So let's get another look at the two sides. So the Sheffield Wednesday team today. They have Charles Cook on the bench with Rossiter, Kurtik, Isaac, Berguis, uh, Liborius, I think that is, and Matthews. I think that's a Berguis who played for Watford. And the starting 11 they have Ingram in goal with Facey, Bennett, Bernardo, and Norton in the defence, and then a defensive midfielder, Yabo. In the midfield, they have Huram Boateng and Santa Maria. The right wingers and left wingers are Alan Judge and Scott Sinclair, and the starting up front, they have Hoff Taniska. I don't know who that is. And on oh, bench and starting 11 today, we have Mark Howard on the bench with Andy Wright, Regan Paul, Luke Maxwell, Jack Thomas, Evan Calera, and Carl Ahern Grant. And the starting 11, we have Dean Henderson in goal with Martin Whitehead as our right back, Matty Folds as our left back. Elio Capradossi and Donovan Daniels are our centre back for today. Matthew Willock as the ball winning midfielder. And in the midfield, Reese Gregor Cox is on the left, Bullet Club on the right, Lorenzo Pellegrini as the deep line playmaker, and Jacob Butterfield as an advanced playmaker. Big gap in the middle there, uh, I say in the middle, like behind the striker. Thierry Ambrose starts up from today. We're both playing 4 1 4 1s with DMs, but um, they are a more wider formation. They are playing um, attacking wingers compared to us, where we're just playing midfielders as a, as a winger. So I hope you enjoyed the game. Let's get into it. Kickoff is underway in the field mill. We are kicking from right to left against Sheffield Wednesday, who are second in the league. A win today will take us to 20 points in the league and potentially a playoff spot. Now, this formation has been doing quite well, and hopefully today we can be second place Sheffield Wednesday. Let's get into it as we have a highlight. Straight away, it's Carl Norton puts the Scott Sinclair. Can we get a tackle in Santa Maria? Puts the ball. Matthew Willock intercepts Butterfield to Thierry Ambrose. Not got many options, but he gets past his man. He has to find an option quick. Finds the option to 
Bullet Club. And then what will he do to Bullet Club? To race Grego Cox, Matt Ingram, with a fantastic save. What a fantastic start to this game so far. With a great chance on Mansfield Town. Bullet Club will whip in the ball here as far as Thierry Ambrose. He heads it down to Capradossi. Wide off the post. Very unlucky. Four shots already. Good start. Facey has a throw in here to Alan Judge, who are closing down vividly here in this game. As oh my god, what a save, Dean Henderson. What an unbelievable... Bristol City are 4 nil up. I get 4-1 up. I get 5-1 up against... What is going on at the whole City game? They're 5-1 up. What's going on? Matty Foles has a throw in here. Doesn't have any options, but he has a Thierry Ambrose and Matt Ingram will gather. Now, um... This first half, Lorenzo Pellegrini has been one of the best bloody midfielders I've ever seen. He's got 100% pass actually with 30 passes connected to Scott Sinclair. But it's the Hossi thing, I can't remember his name. It's a long name, but it, I think that's a corner. It is a corner. Number first, number 18, Alan Judge will whip in this ball here. Followed Brentford man whips in the ball. Donovan Daniels will clear. Matthew Willick will clear. Butterfield gets to that first plan, please. Can see Ambrose. Ambrose is broken. Come on, son. Come on, Thierry. 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 Oh, 41 minutes in. It's still 0 0. Shifford Wednesday. Starting to get into this game a little bit possession wise and shot wise. But we're looking okay so far. We're holding on to the uh, the, po the point at the moment. But we need to win. So what we're going to do in this little second half area is actually push Grego Cox and Bullet Club up and do what they're doing, basically. Do what they're doing. We'll keep him as a winger. We'll keep him as um, We'll put um, Reese Grego Cox as the supporting winger. And put, uh, we'll, we'll keep Bullet Club how he is. And we'll change the formation to do that. And what we will do now is we'll put in some low crosses. See if we can find the ball to Thierry Ambrose early. We're obviously doing short passing already. Um, let's close down a little bit more. Let's try and close them down a lot more and see if we can get uh, the ball a lot quicker and hopefully get a goal in this game. We get second place Sheffield Wednesday and hopefully we can get a goal early in this second half. Burnt field here. This is a Matthew Willock and we're going to get an opportunity from this. He puts it to Bullet Club here. Bullet Club. Back out to Lorenzo Pellegrini. He's got 100% pass accuracy in this game so far. Gregor Cox. Can he get past his man? Or is he going to pass it back to Pellegrini? Pellegrini again. To Matty Folds. Put it back to Pellegrini. Go on. Go on, what are you going to do, Foldsy? Foldsy, you got options there, mate. I'm lucky. Throwing. Matty Folds. Therese Grego Cox. Batter Matty Folds. Jacob Butterfield has options. Puts it to Grego Cox. And it's 1 0 to Mansfield Town. Get in. Reese Grego Cox with his first goal of the season for Mansfield Town. That is a massive goal for us. A massive goal for Reese Grego Cox, who hasn't got in the goals at all since signing him on a free transfer from QPR. But that's a massive goal for him and a massive goal for Mansfield Town. It's Mansfield Town 1. Sheffield United. Sheffield Wednesday. Wow. Don't murder me. I said Sheffield United. I'm sorry. Butterfield plays the ball here to Grego Cox. Shoots. Matt Ingram probably should do better. But it's a good goal nonetheless. Mansfield Town 1. Sheffield Wednesday 0. Thierry Ambrose on the ball here on the outside of the area. Puts it to Lorenzo Pellegrini, who has lost the ball and gained the ball back. Lorenzo Pellegrini, if he doesn't get a high rating in this game, I'm going to be very disappointed because he's been absolutely top draw. Thierry Ambrose here. Um, doesn't really have any options. He's even got the ball in though. Thierry Ambrose put a low cross in. He shoots and it's side netting. I obviously would have gone for a cross there, but hey, Thierry Ambrose is his own player. Alan Judge was the ball into Matthew Willock into Seps. Now Santa Maria. What will he do? He has options in the midfield here. Can we f oh, Willock's just got himself sent off. Willock, you're just getting back into the team, mate. You're doing that. Oh, dearie me. And that's Matthew Willock's game over. He's off for an early bath. That's annoying. We're going to drop Grigor Cox and Bullet Club back now. That's very frustrating. We're down to 10 men. We're still on counter. We won't change much apart from maybe play a normal tempo instead of higher tempo now. Well, and that's annoying. I thought Matthew Willock was doing away okay today. That's very frustrating. Here comes Matty Foles to Lorenzo Pellegrini. On the left-hand side, Matty Foles is making a run. Don't go for it. Pellegrini then. To to Thierry Ambrose. Thierry Ambrose has got a little bit of space. He's, got, he's gained the space. Thierry Ambrose. That is a Thierry Ambrose-esque goal. That is vintage Thierry Ambrose. Sorry, Michael Cole. I stole your catchphrase. It's Mansfield Town new. Sheffield Wednesday nil. And that is a vintage Thierry Ambrose goal. He gets past his man. Nutmegs the bastard. And then Thierry Ambrose gets it past the keeper. Mansfield Town 2. Sheffield Wednesday nil. Get in. Sheffield Wednesday of a corner to Alan Judge. And oh my god. How? <laughs> that was like FIFA 16 type stuff right there. I don't know how that's not gone in. But it hasn't. And we're still 2-0 up. Carmen Orton has the ball now for Wednesday. That's the final touch of the game hopefully. For Martin Whitehead. That is full time. Please. There it goes. Mansfield Town 2. Sheffield Wednesday nil. We're staying 7th. But that was a fantastic performance. I'm going to calmly say. A good win boys. Well done. I, w I would have said about the uh, why can't we win consistently, but we were actually on a five game on beating streak now, so why would I actually do that? So we sit in seventh, 12 games, 20 points. We're already seven points behind Brentford. We are only a point behind third place Ipswich Town. We're looking good. We, you know, the start of the season didn't go too well, but to be honest, it could, it's all changed. The formation has changed things, and we are winning games. That's five 
uh, games unbeaten. Obviously, Matthew Willett getting sent off is a bit annoying. I'm actually going to uh, give him a cheeky fine for doing that, actually, because, I mean, he feels the fine's unfair. But to get sent off in a game like that, and QPO just sacked Gareth Barry. But as I was saying, as to get sent off in a game like that is a bit frustrating. So, the next episode of the Killer Kazas Tag Do, we are going to be away to Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Killer Kazas Tag Do. If you did, leave a like. And if you did not, tell me why in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Killer Kazas Tag Do, our foot manager 2016.